asking, approaching Rio, asking governments, what legal commitments are you going to make to ensure that um, people and future generations included live in that safe environmental zone in the donut, uh, including using ecocide as a, as a way to maintain those boundaries. So I think really there's a question coming out of it. Why aren't legal, why isn't there further legal commitment being made, rather than maybe giving them the answer? So, yeah, that's my I think, can I, can, I think that's a really good question, and it's the one that scares me. Um, I think that there has been a, you know, you know, unassociated with what George was saying, a lot of people are saying, yeah, why do we, what, what's the point in having laws? Because they're broken, they're not enforced, and at the end of the day, the gun is more powerful, and the more powerful, if you're economically and militarily more powerful, then you will be heard. And I think that that's... I, I, that, that's where, where it's at now. There's no push within, even amongst, you know, particularly amongst um, um, what I would have thought of as sort of, you know, left of center political people um, to, 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 to even believe. The idea, it's almost like, that, that, as I see it, that, that narcissism has now gone to such an extent in politics that actually the human being is above the law. It's really that sense of, well, I'm, I'm the prime minister, I have to decide. There isn't this idea that there is, you know, actually the law, as Denny would say, you know, however high you be, the law is above you. That sort of sense that the law is, you know, essentially part of the civilizing, civilizing process. I don't see it, and I, I feel, in fact, you know, I'm um, very much sort of um, almost, uh, almost out of date in putting, the, in putting these kinds of ideas now. Can I add one thing briefly? Which is just, I think your question was about kind of why is this the case? Why are we going to Rio without big legal proposals? Um, I think partly Rio isn't really on the agenda in a big way. You know, it's not like some of the big G8 meetings everyone really talks about. Um, and I think one immediate thing that any one of us can do going out of today is actually contact our MP. There was a first debate about the Earth Summit on Tuesday of this week. Contact our MP and say that David Cameron has to go. He first said he wasn't going because of the Queen's <laughs> Jubilee, or whatever it is, um, and now that's been moved because of that. So I think part of it is kind of we, it's, it's kind of what's being said. You know, we need to put the pressure on um, to raise the ambitions at all, you know, whether it's legal proposals or something else. Yeah. So I think we need to push it up the agenda. So, so coming out of this room, we should be going out and asking and making a demand of our local MP or... Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And I think there's a petition on the number 10 website as well. Great. Okay. Um, right, I'll take a question from, from the back then first. 